So why are we putting school kids on buses run by diesel engines? 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith shows us more and more schools are opting for something different these days. But Matt, what is the main concern here? Hey, really, it's just the stuff that your kids are breathing in. I mean, think about how much time they spend on roads just like this riding in the school bus. And let's be real, if you're at home at some point in your life, you've pulled up to a stoplight, you've been behind one of those diesel vehicles and you're breathing in all that stuff and you're thinking that's nasty. Well, actually, it turns out that a lot of doctors and researchers of at Georgia State University are saying that what you breathe that stuff in, it can be dangerous, not only for health, but it actually is proven that you score lower on tests by breathing all those fumes in. So they're just going through the normal progression here. Inside Roush Clean Tech, President Todd Mao walks me through the 100 plus items they add to engines to go from diesel to propane. You know diesel, they belch fumes and now research shows they have negative impacts on the lungs of developing kids. The eye test can show you the difference. Diesel on the left, propane or auto gas on the right. I ask Mao what he'd want to do for his kid. Now that we know what we know here at Roush and the, the impact this makes, uh, I absolutely would want them on a propane school bus. I mean, they burn a lot cleaner. Over to ABC Student Transportation, Brian Flags tells me they went propane to save money. To fill one up costs less, and in Michigan, thanks to that multi-billion dollar settlement for Volkswagen's diesel scam, some of the money they pay to the state goes to cleaner tech. That includes propane and electric school buses. Electric buses are coming. Challenge with the electric buses right now is the cost and the infrastructure. Meaning it still costs less to build tanks like this and buy propane fueled buses like these. And while it's not perfect, studies show they put out 96% less nitrogen oxide than diesel buses. If we flipped all the aging diesel school buses in our state, we'd cut nearly a quarter of a billion pounds of those emissions. That's about the weight of 13 and a half of these things. The kids, you know, already suffer disproportionately for, you know, asthma and environmental hazards. Um, yeah, they've already dealt so, with enough. Why yeah, add one more? Yeah. Still, diesel's been king for years, so Mao tells me creating change does take time. Really just getting people to understand that it does work. It's just as safe, if not safer. The cost savings are there. So, Matthew, where all are we seeing these propane fuel buses right now? Well, believe it or not, we're seeing the engines being built in our own backyard in Livonia by Roush Clean Tech. But the biggest per group that's running them on the roads right now is actually Student Transportation, ABC Student Transportation. And they actually have the biggest contract in the area with Detroit Public Schools. You're seeing some there, some in Waterford, and really across the state, about 40 school districts. So it's growing, but it's been slow to catch on so far.